Hey, you. <laughs> yes, you. Who else would I be talking to? You are the only one here. Oh, don't look so surprised, silly. Have I, or have I not, talked to you plenty of times before? Exactly. You could almost say we're friends. <laughs> Anyways, I'll cut to the chase. My next class is calculus. But the sun is shining for the first time in weeks, and I so do not want to be sat in a stuffy classroom, listening to the professor drone on and on and on, especially not after lunch. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, at all? Ah, yes. Think about it really hard now. What could I possibly be thinking of? Skipping class and going off campus? Well, if you insist. What a fabulous idea. <laughs> You took the words right out of my mouth. It's like you have read my mind. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be such a stick in the mud. We're already late and getting later by the minute. We may as well just skip the class altogether at this point. Look, do you really want everyone staring at us when we walk in late? while the professor stops talking and glares at us disapprovingly. I know you'll go bright red and hate every second of it. I know you too well. <laughs> I know you hate being the centre of attention like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought not. Look, I've already arranged for Stacy to drop her lecture notes to me after school. I'll make you a copy too, in case you're worried about missing anything important. Not that anything calculus related could possibly be important. <laughs> so, how do you like my plan? Say you'll come with me, please. Oh, wonderful. I'm so happy. Come on, let's go now so we can maximise our time in the sun. <sighs> Come on, we're nearly at the top, I promise. I know it's been a bit of a steep climb, but I swear the view at the top will be worth it. <sighs> See? What did I tell you? Just look at that view. You can see the whole town from up here. There's the school, the town hall. I think I can even see my house. Oh, are you okay? You look a little too red in the face for my liking, and you're breathing kind of heavy. Ah, winded from the climb. Oh, I'm so sorry, I should have noticed and slowed down. That was inconsiderate of me. Here, come and sit down on this rock and we can take a nice break. Soak up the sun, look at the scenery and get our breath back. I'm so sorry, darling. I come up here often, so I kind of forget that the climb can be a bit of a challenge if you haven't done it before. But, we're here now, and would you just look at that view? <sighs> I've been coming here for years, and the sight of the town and countryside in the sunshine still leaves me a little breathless. Although, uh, clearly it doesn't leave me quite as breathless as you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, too soon. So if you look carefully, just there, that's the school. Seems so far away now, doesn't it? No calculus can reach us up here. 
<sighs> it's hard to even care about classes when you're all the way up here. The lake looks especially pretty today. Do you see it shimmering in the distance? Beyond gorgeous. There's also the park over there on my right. And if you look three streets over, that's my house. I'd love to have you come over one day. Maybe if you're free after class, we can hang out. I've shown you pictures of my dog, Pepsi Max, right? Oh, I know, he would just love you the second you walk through the door. My parents are pretty laid back too, so they wouldn't mind having you visit. I'll even help them prepare some snacks for us and maybe some drinks too. <laughs> oh, why are you looking at me like that? You don't want to come round? Ah, I see. Is it that unfathomable that I would like to hang out with you outside of school? You should give yourself more credit, you know. We're friends and I like you, and friends spend time hanging out. So duh, obviously I want to hang out with you. Although, if I'm totally honest, I do have a confession to make. I didn't bring you up here just to get away from class, or to look at the view, although the view is lovely. <laughs> I brought you here because it's about time I told you about my huge fat fucking crush on you. <laughs> oh, you look so cute when you're shocked. Some may say you're even gobsmacked. Uh, it's true, my darling, and I have been scheming up the perfect scenario in which to tell you. I wanted to make it special and a little romantic. And yes, I know that bringing someone to a secluded location alone may seem sus on the surface, but I promise my intentions are purely good. Now, before I go any further, I just want to make it clear that I don't want to pressure you, and that if you're not into me, I'm totally cool with that. We can keep being friends, or we can go our separate ways, whatever you're comfortable with. I will leave the situation in your hands after I've said my piece, and I promise I'll be fine with your decision, whatever it may be. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, I'll start from the beginning. From back before we even spoke for the first time. I thought you were cute then anyway. I think it was a couple of semesters ago. Right around the time you came back from your family vacation, with that little patch of sunburn on your nose that started peeling two days later. Oh my god, that was adorable. <laughs> but anyone can be cute, right? So I made it my mission to find out if you were also nice. So I approached you tentatively to see if you would be willing to be friends, or... Maybe casual acquaintances would have been more accurate for us at first. But, sure enough, you were so cool to chat to, and I soon discovered that you are not only really nice, but also generous, kind, incredibly smart, and wickedly funny, and I had the absolute best time talking to you. Not to mention that time I tripped in gym class. Do you remember? Yeah, you made sure I got to the bench okay, and stayed with me until the pain subsided enough for me to go to the locker room. That really meant a lot to me. I'd always look for you whenever I walked into a room, and it made my heart flutter every time you made eye contact and smiled back at me. Since then, well, I couldn't stop thinking about you. You're so special to me, and I kept imagining us together, romantically. Every time we spoke, my feelings for you grew stronger until I knew I had to tell you. I've been brewing this plan for a while now, but I was waiting for the perfect combination of a sunny day 
and an after lunch class that we both hate. I was just praying that you agreed to come with me today and God, I'm so happy that you did. There are little passing crushes and then there are hardcore serious crushes and I think you can guess which one I have on you. Now, you can take as much time as you need to come to a decision, but I'll make my official proposal now so you know exactly what I'm thinking. Would you please do me the honour of being my boyfriend? Like I said, you can take as much time as you... Oh! Yes? Oh my god, that's... that's the best news! <laughs> You were so quick to answer and so enthusiastic. Can I ask, have you been feeling a similar way? Oh wow, that's kind of funny that we were both in the same boat. Hmm? Oh, oh yes, yes you can kiss me, I'd love that. Mm. You're such a gentleman, too. <laughs> you really are just perfect, aren't you? God, I am the luckiest girl ever. So, we still have a while until we have to be back to catch the school bus. This went better than I expected, to be honest. So what do you say we relax here for an hour or so? We can talk, lay in the grass, and uh, I wouldn't mind a few more kisses. Hmm.